Do your edits always flop because the text in the intro is too boring? Well, look no further because in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you 10 text effects to make your edits more engaging and entertaining. The first text effect is S underscore texture plasma. You'll start by making an adjustment layer over your text. Then go to effects and presets and add the S texture plasma effect. After that, change the glow color to black. Now duplicate your text layer and place it over the adjustment layer. After that, change the text to stroke text and make sure the stroke width is 1. This is the finished effect. But if you want, you can play with the settings and add some deep glow and drop shadow after. The next effect we'll be doing is this bloody text effect. Start by making a red solid. After that, search for the fractal noise effect and apply that to your red solid. Then change the blending mode to add, and after that, increase the contrast to 735. Now put the red solid below your text and make it luma matte to the text. Now to animate it, click the stopwatch next to Evolution while holding Alt or Option and it'll open the expression box. After that type in time, 300. And this is the finished effect. The next effect is CC Light Sweep. Start by changing the text color to anything other than white. After that, apply the CC Light Sweep effect to your text. Place the center at the left side of your text, keyframe it, move a few seconds forward, then place the center to the right side of your text. And this is the finished effect. If you want, you can move the keyframes closer to each other, so the light sweep is faster. The next effect is Bevel and Emboss. Go to the Layers, then Layer Styles, and then click Bevel and Emboss. Now copy what I do here. The next effect is this gradient text. Start by making an adjustment layer over your text. Then add the gradient ramp effect. After that, copy what I do here. You can change the start color to anything you want. And if you want to have the gradient only on a specific word, you can resize the adjustment layer using the scale property, so it only fits that word. You can also add a stroke like we did with the S underscore texture plasma effect. Here I'm just adjusting the gradient a little bit. This is the finished effect. The next effect is S underscore rays. Add the S underscore rays effect to your text layer. After that, change the rays length to 0.910 and rays brightness to 1.5. This
This is the finished effect. The next effect is CC burn film. Add the effect to your text layer. After that, set burn to 100 and keyframe it. Then go to where you want the text to fade in and set the burn to zero. Then go to where you want the effect to fade out. Make a keyframe and set burn to zero. After that, make another keyframe and set burn to 100. This is the finished effect. The next effect is Wave Warp. Add the effect on your text layer and copy my settings. This is the finished effect. Next, we'll be making this curved text. Using the mask tool with ellipse, make a mask around your text. If your mask isn't an ellipse, click the mask tool with option or alt to change it. Now go to path options and change it to your mask. If you want, you can turn on reverse path so the curve is on the other side of the mask. This is the finished effect. The next effect is S underscore Cloud Psychos. Start by making an adjustment layer over your text and applying the effect on your adjustment layer. After that, change the color to something like red or green. Then duplicate your text layer and make it a stroke text. This is the final effect. If you found this tutorial helpful and want more like it, please consider liking and subscribing as it supports me greatly.